Here at, uh, at RAF Waddington to talk to uh, some of our, our crew, the, uh, the, the officers who are involved in very, very important uh, intelligence gathering and surveillance. And some of the, uh, some of the planes here today are going to be used very shortly over the border in, uh, in, in, in Belarus, in Poland uh, and elsewhere uh, over uh, Ukraine to, to see what's going on and to uh, allow us to have an even finer detail evaluation of, uh, of the military dispositions there. What is the latest intelligence you have regarding the withdrawal of Russian troops from the border with Ukraine? I wish I could give everybody better news about this, but I have to tell you that the picture is continuing to be very grim. And t today, as, as I'm sure you've already picked up, uh, a kindergarten was shelled in uh, what we're taking to be a, uh, what we, we know was a false flag operation uh, designed to, uh, uh, to discredit the Ukrainians, uh, designed to create a, a pretext, a, 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 a spurious provocation uh, for Russian action. Uh, we fear very much that that is the kind of thing we'll see more of over the next few days. And uh, what we're doing is making sure that we do everything to strengthen the package of sanctions that will follow immediately should there be uh, a Russian invasion. We're strengthening the eastern frontier of, of NATO and I'll be going to, uh, to the European Security Conference in Munich uh, a little bit later on uh, over the weekend to, to talk about what we're going to do to unify the West. Are you having to rush forward your ban on tier, tier one visas, these so-called golden visas, because you're worried about a rush of applications? I mean, is this, a, is this a sign of a crackdown on Russian money in the UK? I think it's very important that we uh, address all the issues that we can as fast as, as we can. And uh, we have already some very tough laws on, on money laundering, on uh, people uh, laundering ill-gotten gains here in the, in the UK. Uh, but clearly, uh, it's time to, to bring in some tough sanctions against the, uh, the Russian regime, against uh, big Russian uh, companies, organisations of strategic importance, and also making sure that we, uh, we, inter we stop the raising of funds by Russian companies on London financial markets. That's a very, very tough sanction that we'll be, uh, we'll be bringing in. What we also need to do, and I'll be saying this, and I've said this before, we've got to end uh, the dependence of, uh, of the West, of Europeans in particular, on Russian hydrocarbons. We can't be blackmailed in this way uh, by Vladimir Putin. Uh, we've got to, to end that. And I just want to say one thing finally about, about what's happening in, in Ukraine. I do think it's, it's, it, there is still time for the, the Putin regime to step back. There's still time to avoid a catastrophe, a catastrophe uh, for Russia a catastrophe for, for Ukraine and for the world. And uh, that is that if Russia were so mad as to invade, I don't think people should imagine that this will be a brief uh, business. This will be a bloody and protracted conflict in which I'm afraid that uh, there will be many casualties uh, and including many Russian casualties. And I, I just hope that people in Russia can see that for what it is.